And now we'll call to order for the special meeting that we have now. Uh, Madam Clerk, would you call the roll, please? Present. Here. Present. Councilwoman Lynch. Are you here? Here. It's not executive. Okay, we got a meeting going on now. Okay. We go skip the. No, the next car in the street that I was like. We're having the public comments. No public comments. Do we have any public comments? I don't have any, sir. Thank you. Uh, the special meeting to hear the appeal of Pell State Oil Supplemental Application for High Content Alcohol Permit uh, Wine Sales Only at 109 East Burke Coons Industrial Loop is called to order. The hearing was postponed on February 13th at the request of the City Attorney, William Bradford. Uh, <coughs> can we now hear from City Attorney William Bradford? Good evening, Council Members. You want to be up there? Well, Art Brow beat me and said that I need to get my steps in today, so that way I can address the Council. Uh, this is a matter of uh, the appeal denial of Pale State, Pale State Oil Company's supplemental application for high content alcohol permit for wine sales only at 109 East Burt Coons Industrial Loop. Prior to today, there was a um, legislative issue with how the application of high content alcohol sales applied to wine. Originally, uh, as you all are aware, uh, the legislation did not distinguish between high content and low content wine. Wine was originally anticipated to be anything under 6%, so when an applicant would apply for it, they would receive either a beer and wine permit or they would receive a liquor permit. Uh, there was not a legislative, legislative solution for uh, addressing those issues where you have wine that may be over 6% until today. And so just as, a, a, as an aside, the passage of Ordinance 12 will effectively moot that issue and creates now a distinction that beer and wine sales do not require a separate entrance regardless of the content of the alcohol, whether it be low alcohol content or high alcohol content. The passage of Ordinance 18 uh, is immaterial to today's issue because this is not an issue of the fine or, or the application fee. That will address the application fee and bring it in line uh, with the state as well. But uh, the applicant has made uh, payment on the application for uh, the sale of beer and wine, so that is not an issue uh, today. Uh, the payment was made by the application and is sufficient in the application. Uh, there is a, a defect on the application. Face of the application, there is a checkbox for liquor that was inadvertently checked. Uh, Council for Pell State has assured me that they will make that correction. And at this time, our staff recommends approval of the permit as it's been requested or, in other words, a overturning of the denial of their original application. I think we have it prepared for them, and they will receive it today if the council votes to overturn the denial of their application. Thank you, council, uh, City Attorney Bradford. Can we um, now hear from Mr. Vegan, please? Yeah. Yes, uh, Chairman, Council Members, thank you. I appreciate you all having me here today. Um, William uh, clarified the issue. You all voted earlier this afternoon to amend 1084 to essentially solve this, uh, this issue. Thank you all for, for timely, uh, your timely work on the matter. And, uh, and if this Council will, in fact, overturn the denial and issue the permit, that the appeal would, you know, essentially be made and, uh, and go away. Okay. We will hope that no inconvenience to... No bad inconvenience to anyone, but we have on the uh, board to speak. Mr. Bradford, I think that's an old one, so Councilwoman Lynch. Where is Mr. Sweeney? Has he, did he leave MPC? I think he is gone, but they were properly zoned for beer and wine. Uh -huh. uh, this is a use question, uh, so uh, Mr. Sweeney's gone by. I may be able to answer any questions you have. Yeah. I, well, I'm not sure if you, if you can. Um, I guess I'm just, I, I guess in my mind, I'm just trying to understand that if we had in place what we had, 
did today if they would have voted differently? Uh -huh. If it would have had any impact? Not on the zoning. This is a use question. So, okay. in so fact, in fact, the use. Councilwoman Lynch, the the use um, is permitted for zoning. Is not even a oh, special really? use. Okay. It's a it's a permitted it's use. It's a permitted use. Yes, okay. ma'am. So it's guaranteed under the UDC right. at this particular zoning class. That's correct. So what are we overturning? You're overturning the original denial uh, based on the mootness of the issue. Uh, now that 1084 has been amended, uh, now there is not a requirement for a separate entrance for beer and wine sales and it is uh, facially immaterial whether or not they are 6% or lower or 6% or higher. Just for beer and wine? Yes, yes ma'am. So, so one thing that we are not overturning a decision by the ZBA. Okay. Correct. We are overturning a decision by our internal staff that has denied the them this permit. Okay. Correct. Yeah, I this think relates, that's maybe what you were written. Yeah. This yeah. relates to Chapter T and the other one. Okay. Correct. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm still trying to get my mind wrapped around the separation. So right now, what exists? What exists now, as, it's, as the ordinance has been amended, in order to sell liquor, i.e. anything that is grain alcohol, vodka, anything, and it, and it does include cognac, you know, whiskey, mm -hmm. scotch, mm -hmm. it will require you to have a separate entrance, right. i.e., a good example is the Brookshire's on Mansfield, uh, Mansfield Road. Okay. That's why you have the Brookshire's grocery store, but then you have a separate entrance for the alcohol sales. Right. This does not, this no longer will apply to um, beer and wine. The, as the law is written, in order for you to sell high, as it was previously written prior to today, in order for you to sell high content alcohol, our interpretation was that it required you to have a separate entrance. This legislation that was passed today effectively removed the requirement for beer and wine, which is what Pale State intends to sell, beer and wine. That's what they are permitted to sell. In any event, if any retailer would like to sell alcohol, or excuse me, liquor, uh, they will be required to get a special use permit. Have you ever heard somebody say, let's go pick up a high alco alcohol content beer, or let's go have a low alcohol content wine? Right. If you've never heard somebody say that, then this doesn't make any difference. No. No, no. It might help. <clears throat> Pell State was denied because they wanted to sell wine that was more than 6% in alcohol. Thank you. That's what I'm trying okay. to no, understand. No, no, okay. Right. okay. It was still so wine. It was, it was still wine, but it was, right. you know, right. like and, and this is the other is like table yeah. wine instead of right. rooms wine. And this was this was the legislation passed okay, today. Hold on, lawyer. Yes, ma'am. Hold on, because I'm trying to get keep my liquor straight. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, so the what is a high six alcohol wine. content wine that's more than six percent? Uh, Miss Lynch, you're, we're talking about just your standard Chardonnay or Merlot or Cabernet. Oh, it's more than six percent. Like Some of them eight point nine, about well, thirteen percent. Oh, average. you know, we're not talking about no forty percent. No. Like, mm -hmm. uh, okay. So, so no one be fooling with that. Then. And I, I do okay. need to make sure, no. Councilwoman Lynch, that the record reflects the legislation passed today addresses a much larger issue than just pale states. Okay. Because of how, the, because the legislation was passed, it effectively moots Pell State's issue. But one of the issues that was brought forth in the public safety committee meeting was that there are numerous instances of grocery stores who are just unaware of the law that are selling wine that it exceeds six percent. So, as opposed to citing each and every one of those, we made an administrative decision to create a legislative remedy that would effectively uh, moot this issue as it stands for uh, the, citizen, the, the businesses in Shreveport. Okay, so when are we going to do away with the separation of any of it? That, that's a separate issue, um, distinct from today. I know that that has been in discussion, but okay. that's really a policy decision that the council will have to make. Okay. All right, thank you. I'm now recognizing Councilman Corbin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, before I make my motion, I want to thank the City Attorney's Office, Public Safety Committee for working through this over the past uh, few months. And as the City uh, Attorney mentioned earlier, um, the, although the application did contain a check <coughs> by a liquor, uh, this, the motion I'm about to make reverses the decision concerning wine only. And my motion is this. 
I move that the decision of the Chief of Police to deny the supplemental application for a permit to sell high content wine is reversed and Pell State Oil Company's supplemental application for the retail sale of wine as defined by Ordinance 5 of 2018 for off-premise consumption at its store located at 109 East Burke Coons is granted. Second. Moved by Councilman. Is that wine and beer? Beer and wine. Yes, ma'am. But you're just saying wine. They're already selling beer. They're already selling beer. Oh, okay. So, so he cannot add anything else to that. It's still wine and beer. Just wine and beer. Okay. High content. Any other discussion? Moved by Councilman Corbin, seconded by the Vice Chair. Uh, seeing no other discussion, please vote. And that motion carries seven zero. Thank if you. there's nothing else, this means adjourned. Thank you for your time.